iPhone 6 Plus Take Apart Guide. First, use your iPhone Penelope screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom of the phone. Then use a suction cup to lift up on the display to open the phone. The first thing you will want to do is unplug the battery. To do this, remove the two Phillips screws from the shield holding down the battery connector. Then use a nylon spudger tool to unplug the battery. Now you can remove the display. To do this, you will first need to remove all the Phillips screws from the shield holding down the display connector. Once the screws have been removed, remove the shield. Next, use your nylon spudger tool to unplug all the display connectors from the board. Next, you will need to unscrew all the screws from the board. At the top left hand side of the board, there's a shield that will be removed. Under the shield, there are two cables. Use your nylon spudger tool to unplug them. There are some specialty screws that have holes in them. You can either use your Torx screw or a flathead screwdriver to remove them. At the bottom left hand side of the board there is an antenna. Use your nylon spudger tool to unplug it. Use your nylon spudger tool to unplug the antenna at the top of the board as well. Now using the nylon spudger tool, unplug the camera cable. Next using your nylon tool, Raise up from the bottom of the board and flip the board over to reveal another antenna cable. Use your nylon tool to unplug the antenna. Now remove the Phillips screws from the antenna assembly. Then remove the Phillips screws from around the camera assembly. Once the screws have been removed, the shield holding the camera down will come off. And then the camera assembly will be able to be removed. Next, remove the Phillips screws from the speaker assembly. Then move the cable out of the way and remove the speaker assembly. Now remove the remaining screws from the lightning cable and headphone jack.
Once all the screws have been removed, use the flat side of your spudger tool to remove the cable from the back case. Also carefully separate the microphone from the back case. Now slide the headphone jack up and out of the case and the whole assembly can be removed. Next to remove the battery, use your flat tool to lift it up from the back case. The adhesive holding the battery down is very strong and it's likely if you remove the battery that you will damage it. Once the battery is removed, you can then remove the adhesive from the back case. Now remove the Phillips screws from the power button assembly. Remove the Phillips screw from the top located here. Once the screws from the power button assembly has been removed, then you can use your spudger tool to remove the ribbon cable from the back case. Do this very carefully because the ribbon cable can be torn very easily. Next remove the Phillips screw located here and remove the antenna assembly. Now remove the Phillips screws from the volume assembly. Now use your nylon spudger tool to remove the cable from the back case.